Hello guys, this is Beta. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a script hub on Roblox. So I have been getting a lot of DMs later about how to make a script hub, how to make like a script for Roblox, an exploit, and I'm going to be sh explaining it in this tutorial series. So this is going to be containing in five parts, animations, scripts, GUI, how to make a clean GUI, and stuff. So first of all, you need to download Roblox Studio. If you have it, click new and create a base plate. All right, I'm in my base plate now. So this is your f like prop explorer. Um, okay, so I have my base plate here. Um, go to your screen GUI and select screen GUI. Once you've done that, this is like the basic thing, so you could like see frames, see buttons and stuff. So let's start off by making a frame. So let's make this frame bigger. And okay, so now this is the properties of a frame. So if you don't want this like ugly border, you search up border outline. So it, it's going to say border pixel size. You put this at zero. And you will not see a ugly border now. So let's make it you want. So color. You can set whatever color you want. I'll just put it to here. Now let's make another frame. So we can have like a top bar. So it looks cool. So let's set the color to something else, like a bit dark, darker color. And we don't want to forget about the border size because it's going to look ugly. So now let's copy this frame. Control C, Control V. Let's take it and let's make a sidebar. So let me just make a sidebar. This is gonna be like our, oh, I don't know, scripts, home, settings, credits. So we can have a good looking page. Let me just make this bigger. So what you guys need to do, ag um, again, click on this tablet, the mobile, um, select HD 1080, and then click fit to window because if you like do this it's going to look ugly so click fit to window let's rename these let's name this top bar let's rename this side bar right so we have top bar and side bar let's name this hub so we make a text label okay now as you guys can see it's like you can't really see the um, text label. So what you search up, you search up is index. And you change this like to a value of, I don't know, three. Oh, eight. I don't know then, a random number. Okay, let's look at this index. This index is one here. So let's take this text label and put it here. There you go, now it works. So let's name the hub. Tutorial hub. So, if you don't want the ugly background, you set up background transparency and set it to one. Now the text color, I like to set it to um white. And don't um put text scaled because it's gonna look more uglier. Um, let's just set it to 22. So fonts. Um, fonts you can just edit whatever you like. I really like Arial. Oops, I misspelled tutorial. Okay, tutorial. Alright, we have tutorial hub. So let's just scale this down a bit and put it here. So we have our three pro like things, frames. Now let's add something to this sidebar. Let's add a button. 
So we take our button. Let's just resize this a bit. Let's call this, I don't know, scripts. Now, let's make the background transparency one text color. This font, whatever you want, your choice. I just like Arial size and let's make the size I don't know 19 so it's visible so what we can do with this um let's just rename it scripts button let's we can copy and paste it actually let's do this now let's call it I don't know credits and let's copy and paste it again and let's call this settings All right alright so we have oops we have scripts we have credits and we have settings this is like our sidebar now oops now let's make like frames so let's add a new frame to this. Let's call it scripts. Scripts frame. Let me just rename these. Credits. Oops. Set things button so we have our three buttons now now let's make a frame so what I like to do I like to put a frame here so it covers the page and set the back transparency transparency to one so you can't even see it uh, we can use it to make like animations or other stuff we will get into that later so Let's make a button. Let's set the back transparency to let's say seven. Color, text color white. Font, Arial, size, let's say eighteen. Now let's say we want a script hub because that would be easier than making all of the scripts. We will get into the scripts like at the fourth part. So let's get into the basic stuff first. Let's say we want a script for all hub. All hub is just a basic game ball if you guys know. Let's set the border to zero. And let's make the color of the background a bit nicer like this. Oh, you can't really see it. There we go. Now we have all hub here. Let's just copy all hub and paste it. Now let's make it again. And let's say hat hub. So we will name the frames all hub. And let's name this hat hub okay so we have all hub and hat hub now let's make the scripts for the buttons so what we do we take it we make a local script we don't a we don't want a script because a script is like server sided it will like work on everyone so we use a local script local script is basically only you can use it so let's delete everything here so what we do we need a mouse button one click function so what we type script dot parent dot parent means like the frame above it so we have local script script dot parent so the parent is going to be all hub now let's mouse button one click 
mouse button one click is ju basically a function that if we click it's gonna y do the stuff in the box so now we do the two dots and we do connect now we type function we delete the last bracket and paste two new ones now if we click enter it's gonna get us a end sign so let's just make a simple print hello now let's start the game Okay, so now we are in the game. Let's click F9. So, let's click on the button. Give me a sec. And it printed. As you can see, it printed hello. Oops. Something is bugged here. I don't know what hap what is happening. But let's just spam it. And it's going to spam hello. Let's see. Yeah, you see. So, it spammed hello. So that if you do that you know the button th thing works so now let me just get it so now I have the script so here you paste the script right here so let me just oops okay I'm gonna paste the old hub link um, this is gonna be linked in the description also uh, with every plugin I'm gonna be using in this tutorial um, they're going to be linked and also my discord server where you can find the source and also if we do animations you can find all of the scripts for that in my discord so make sure to join that so now let's make a hat hub script let's type script dot parent dot mouse button one click dot connect function and if you hit enter it's going to Okay, I got the script now. Now, as you can see, we have this pasted the script. Now it should work, but we can't use it in game because we um it needs to be converted to GUI to Lua. So we have our script frame here. Let's make it not visible anymore. Let's copy and paste that again. Let's. Oops, I deleted everything accidentally. Now let's make the credits tab. This should be very, very simple. Let me just copy paste this. I don't want to make like s very like credits. Say bay it all. Yeah, just this. I don't want to make something like for more, like something more harder, because I don't have the time for that. So let's call this this frame. This is basically something easy. We will get into the harder stuff later on in the tutorials part. So let me just change this settings. Oops. So let's say we want to like um icons that we can use. So what we can do, we can take this side sidebar. Um I I'm gonna be using a, a plugin called interface tools. It's gonna be linked down below. So let me just type home. It's gonna be the main thing home let me just make it like right here let me put it right here now let's make a credits tab um this is probably going to be like a people yeah and now let's go to plugins again and search settings 
so we have settings now right we have settings we have home and we have credit no we have scripts credits and settings now let's make a script for when we see the frame like if we click credits it's going to show the credits up if we click settings or scripts it's going to show the tabs so what we do let's make a script a local script so what we do now we make a script dot parent dot parent so we go twice on a parent cuz um yeah we go up here then we're here so let's make it another parent now we are here now let's make a another parent now we should see these frames yeah we see them now so we are in the credits frame let me just make a script up here and mouse button one click we learn we know what it does now so I don't have to explain so we have the credits frame visible equals true now we can copy and paste this now and change this to like setting oops settings frame now we need to make it false um so visible means if the frame is visible it like if we click the button credits the other frames become like non visible so now we can change this again to scripts frame false no oh. false so we are in the credits so we make the credits frame visible now we can copy and paste this into this we just change it so we're in scripts so we change the script to true and this to false oh, I always mess this up now we are in settings so we can false so we can change it to true now let's try to make everything not visible so every frame is now not visible now let's try to make the thing right now we are in the studio game now let's press script we see it now let's press credits we see it now we press settings so everything works finally now if we want to make it a let's say a script we use a plugin called GY to Lua so this will be li linked down below so you can make your own script so we hover over the screen GY now let's make this GY to Lua now we click convert it wait let me actually um, change it here now let's click it and we have the script here the source is going to be open source so you guys can keep following with me so let's just copy and paste that and let's get into a game and I'll be right back okay now we are in the game so let's execute the script alright so as you guys can see let's click all hub it works now let's click hot hub it works so this is like the first part of the tutorial I will make another part in like and tomorrow you guys will get another part about animations about scripting and GUI creating I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty easy tutorial uh, make sure to join my discord server subscribe and like all right see you guys in the next tutorial bye